Hi everyone and welcome to another Saturday sipping session with me, Sara, aka Queen Aguin from Vin Van Kerti, and Rodri, aka Granch. Aka. Um, aka Sous Chef at Heenies. Sous Chef at Heenies. Yeah, I know, right? Awesome. Pretty special. Um, thanks for coming. You're welcome. So Rodri's here today, A to drink wine. And B, because we're drinking a natural orange wine, which is right up your street, isn't Absolutely, it? 100%. So the wine we've got today is a really cool one. This is uh, from Burgenland in Austria. That's Eastern Austria. This is made with Gewürztraminer, Pinot Gris, and Waltz Riesling, which has nothing to do with normal Riesling. 11.5%. Um, it's made by a really cool Austrian family who also heard Angus Deers. Okay. Apparently I... that's not a thing, but the deer's shit will nourish the land. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and as we know, some natural wines can have a bit of a... A funk? A bit of a I funk. I didn't realise it because it'd be because of deer shit. It's not deer shit usually, it's usually, you know, maybe some sort of animal... Byproduct? Byproduct. Yeah. Um, but let's see if we get some deer dung uh, on the palate with really, this wine. You're really selling the wine here today. <sighs> I'm not doing very well. Um, now orange wine, okay so what is an orange wine? Uh, as far as I know mm -hmm. from what you've told me, so I think I had my first bottle of orange wine about a year ago Okay. Um, and it's all about skin contact. Exactly, so white grape varieties mashed together with the skins and fermented or macerated for a period of time and then gradually you get flavour, colour and texture that mm -hmm. comes out of it. So that's why you get a colour similar to this and that's why you get a texture that's quite similar to a red wine. Um, so expect tannins, which is something that you would not get in white wine. Um, I did do a video about this on Romanian orange wine, so if you do need some more information, um, just go back, we're on YouTube and IGTV on the gram. Um, feel, oh, you've, you've, I've already started cool. drinking. You're going for it, I'm awesome. In. Um, so, like I said, this is a... Did you see the fizz on that? Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of... Uh, I think like with with wines that haven't been messed around with, you do get that little bit of There's a, really slight fizz. Like a natural... It's almost like it continues the fermentation in the bottle. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't it? So, like I said, this is a natural wine. So, the, what natural means is that it's just low intervention. So, it follows um, biodynamic and organic practices. There's really minimal amounts of sulfur, sulfur dioxide, um, no additives, usually normal fining and filtration. So they just they just don't put anything else in the wine mm -hmm. and they just let it do its thing. The problem with this is that it can also be a bit... Funky? Shit. Yeah, like some of the worst wines that I've drank have been natural wines. Mm. That's not to put anybody off natural wines because you no. should definitely try them. Absolutely. But I think... Sometimes I pay, you know, 20 quid for a bottle of natural wine and mm. it's been undrinkable. Yeah. Whereas you won't get that if you go go to the shop and you spend 20 quid on a bottle of wine. You're probably going to enjoy it to yeah. some degree. But there have been certain natural wines which mm. have just been terrible. Yeah, exactly. They can, they can smell a little bit too much like manure. Do your research. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, it's like if you're going to bake a cake, you can use all of the best organic, sustainable, amazing ingredients from um, local shops and whatever, but if you don't know how to bake, the cake is going to be shit. So... Bakery, chef reference. Nice. <laughs> um, but natural wines can be absolutely amazing if you mm -hmm. know what you're doing. Um, and this one is a really good example. So that's kind of just the little bit there about natural wines. I'm smashing it already. Good. That's what, that's... That's what we want. So this one is really pungent on the nose right really, yeah strong on the nose yeah definitely i think you tend to get the thing with the especially with orange wines is they can sometimes be uh almost cidery yeah no i'll give you that because yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got like it's quite apply on the nose and it's usually wild fermentation so you get that, that more yeasty. like a scrumpy cider rather than like yeah. a strong mode dark fruit so right Ye well yeah not 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 a dark fruit no, no. maybe thatcher's haze thatcher's haze yeah 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 but it's really, it's quite apply. Um, I can get like, I get a bit of sort of like, like white stone fruits. Absolutely. I hate to be that guy, but. No, but it's got like apricot mm -hmm. and. Little peachy notes. Little peachy notes there. It is really, there's a lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. And you can definitely get layers of that yeast there. Yeah. Huh? On, on the palate. What are you saying? I'm saying. 
it's really good. It's a really, really good orange wine. So I think it's up there with some of the nicer ones I've tried. Um, definitely fruity. Mm. Um, you know, the acidity level is bang on because sometimes yeah. they can be too acidic mm. or not like quite like tart enough. Yeah. Um, I'm getting like quite minerally kind of after like on the afterburner. Nice. Uh, I like it. I really like it. It's nice and it's quite sour as well. It's got a nice like sour fruits and high acid like you're saying and but almost there's there is that bit of a spritz to it yeah 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 for sure for I sure don't know if that's from the acid uh yeah maybe the acid or just natural yeast still yeah. in the bottle and they kind of continue the fermentation you can kind of see the yeast at the bottom yeah. still as well like oh wait, I'm, I'm way out of shot there but you can kind of like see this little like yeasty bit yeah. at the bottom um which it doesn't make it taste bad and it's nothing to be afraid of mm. so don't be afraid of it just don't be afraid of it it's fine it's just yeast there's definitely this. There's yeast on more. <laughs> yeah. Just keep going. Alrighty. It's definitely got um, the yeast on the on the aftertaste. Are you last? Do you expect that with mm. a lot of natural wines as well, though? It's I nice. think sometimes like people can get put off by that mm. that sort of like yeasty natural taste, but I think it's a good trade-off for like the complexity of the wine. So Absolutely. like the layers that you get, mm. flavors that you get, is so it's so worth it. Yeah. And I think funk is, is like one of those things that you learn to love when you mm. have your first glass of wine when you're like, well, I think I was like 11 when I had my first glass okay, of wine. Okay, right. So I'm grassing up my parents' lab in it. Um, I had my first glass and I remember tasting it and being like, why would anybody drink this? This is terrible. Yeah. But then after you drink like, you know, like your first few glasses, mm. like, well, like with olives, mm. you kind of like develop a little bit of a taste for Absolutely, it. Absolutely, So yeah. I think that's the same with like a, a, like a natural wine. Yeah. So like getting used to that funk. Well, this is reasonably, I mean, it's quite hazy, you know, like you mm. can see that in the in the colour there. It is quite hazy. So, so. they don't use gelatine to clarify no. is another a big thing. So a lot of natural wines are actually vegan as well. So for the vegan community. All of all natural wines are vegan. There you go. Yeah. Vegan, organic. So I'll come in with the half truths and, and then I'll you just, come in with and the I full just, truth. Just bring it home. Uh -huh. You rein me in. I just bring it home. No, no, no. You you, you started off and I just... Oh, yeah, yeah you can bat it out the park. There we are. I'm with you. Um, yeah, it's it's a good kind of almost a gateway orange wine if you're not because it's quite clean in the flavors. I know it's got like yeasty kind of aftertaste, um, and it is quite hazy, but it's not the funkiest. It's natural. not the funkiest no. in the world. So if you want to give it a go, then this is a good one to try for sure. Um, and see if you can develop that palate like an olive, like a good olive. Yeah, have a hundred olives and you'll never not eat olives again. <laughs> have a hundred bottles of natural wine, find out what happens. Exactly. Tell us. Let us know. Exactly. <laughs> Please do. Um, so this this is uh, as I said available on vinvancardid.co.uk. Um, we deliver to your houses free next day delivery in Cardiff, or you can come and see me. We mm. do click and collect on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Do that because Sarah is an absolute legend. Um, and this is ten percent off from today for the next seven days. So all the more reason to give it a go. Plus the bottle's quite nice. I quite like that label. Yeah, this is a cool little bottle. Um, I like a lot of natural uh, bottle wine designs as well. They're quite simplistic. I yeah. think they kind of like, there's like an archetype for a type of natural wine. And I think, yeah, simple bottle, simple labeling. Also a little bit edgy. This is it. If you notice with a lot of natural wines, they're trying to like move away from like the chateau style yeah, of the labeling. Yeah, the traditional, yeah. So, oh, just another reason to give it a go, really. Um, I know. Right, so conclusion. Um, Big fan. Yeah. I think it's a nice orange wine to start yourself off with, but cool. also like branching into your natural wines. Um, perfect on a hot day, mm. nice and cold. Um, if you're struggling with the funk, a uh, little trick that I learned is pop that bottle open, pop it in, make sure your fridge don't stink first, but pop it in your fridge, yeah. let it like sit for half an hour in the fridge, that'll get rid of some of like that like funkiness. Yeah, yeah. Um, but perfect with um, oily fish, I reckon. Oh, nice. I was going to ask, actually, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So if you're going to eat it with food, maybe like, uh, I mean, I, you, we, would t we talk about baccaronis all the time. Yeah. But perfect with like Anchovies oily, vinegary, yeah, oily, vinegary, salty fish, sardines. Yes. Um, anything like that, you will enjoy this bottle of wine with it. And I think mm -hmm. that fruity number, like the fruitiness of it, lay, like lends itself to, to that type of food. Absolutely. So give it a go. Yeah. There we are. And we've got that from a, an actual real life chef real who, life. who does food. I do do food most days of the week now. Most days of the week he does food. There uh -huh. we go. So yeah, I I definitely give it a go. I definitely awesome. give it a go. I think if you're not if you haven't tried it, get down, come and speak to Sarah, try this bottle. 
do it. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you got anything else to add? Um, no, I'm just going to carry on drinking the wine. There we go. Cool. You carry on drinking. Do you want to take this one home with you? Mm -hmm. after? Cool. Um, I'll just do the boring bits while you do the drinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to carry on. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, remember, 10% off for this wine online, binvancardi.co.uk. We are on Instagram and Facebook at binvancardi. And we're on Twitter, although I sometimes say things, sometimes don't. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully see you soon. Till next week. Yachida. Yachida.